Also, let's go across to, to Chandrakumar Bose, uh, who's joining us uh, on the show. Thanks a lot for speaking to us uh, on the centenary commemorated uh, of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Uh, I want no, to begin with you President. first by asking you about your thoughts as the country remembers the extreme brutality that uh, peaked during this Jallianwala Bagh massacre by the British in India. First of all, I would like to pay homage to the martyrs of Jallian Balawag. They stood up for the nation and the British on an unarmed group of heroes, they massacred them. I think the world today holds Britain responsible for this massacre. In fact, they should apologize mm. to the nation, to India. Because Britain always mm -hmm. stand up for rights. If you really believe in rights, human rights, rights to protect your nation, rights to free your nation, I think mm -hmm. they should immediately apologize to the world that what, they had, what had happened 100 years mm -hmm. back should have never had happened. And today I would also like to add... In that, that sense, are you disappointed with the fact that British Prime Minister Theresa May, Mr. Bose did not apologize. They have only issued a regret for what had happened. But that seems to be, you know, extremely understated, completely not, you know, befitting to the scale of the massacre that had taken place in 1990. Certainly, just a mention or regret is not acceptable by our nation, by the people of our nation, and people of the world who believe that they must protect their country, they must fight for the freedom of their country. So I think that Great Britain should revisit the statement that they have made and they must apologize to the world for conducting this heinous crime of shooting people who were unarmed. They didn't even have arms. They just stood up for the rights of the nation. They stood up for their country. So I think they should revisit and make a, re a statement apologizing. Mm -hmm. The other issue that I have been observing since morning, certain people, certain political leaders and parties are, are giving slogans. This is a day of silence. This is a day mm -hmm. to pay homage to the martyrs of Jallianwala Bagh. But political statements mm -hmm. and slogans are me being made at the site of this sacred place. We really condemn this. Political immaturity mm -hmm. is proved by making such a st political, uh, you know, uh, uh, statement in this uh, premises of this sacred place. They right. must immediately apologize to the nation that it was wrong. It was uh, completely wrong. They must maintain silence at the premises of Jallianwala Bagh. Right. Yes, CK Bose, uh, I appreciate you joining us. You're, of course, referring to certain slogans of Rahul Gandhi Zindabad that were witnessed when Rahul Gandhi, Congress uh, president, was actually flanked by the Punjab chief minister at the site when he was visiting to pay his homage. Certainly not an occasion uh, for political slogans. Uh, CK Bose, I do appreciate you joining us. Thanks a lot for that. We'll keep uh, come, uh, speaking to you as the day progresses. Let's also... Uh, slip into a very short break. On the other side, we'll get you more news and updates from across the country. Stay tuned.